This uh, video is to show you an enhancement to the tally counter created by Orman Beckles. In his video, he showed how you could create a tally counter which would not allow you to uh, subtract enough guests to get a negative value. What I'll be doing is to show you how you can modify the tally counter to prevent the add guest button from exceeding an occupancy limit. You know, most venues have occupancy limits. So my code has a maximum occupancy of 10. It's a, it's a variable that was uh, declared in the same way that uh, T count was declared. And what I would do is change the add guest button. Let me just show you the problem in action. I'm going to increase the number. There's 10, 11, 12, 13, even though the occupancy limit is supposed to be 10. I've added a reset button here so I can get back to zero. Now the way we can do this is really very simple. We would use something very similar to this, that is to say, we would say, hmm, if we reach the maximum occupancy, don't allow us to add any more guests. And it would be something very similar to what you see for the subtract guest. We can have an if, stick that in there, that in there, and what is, will our test be? Well, our test is going to look something like this. We would say, hmm, we want the number of T count to be less than maximum occupancy. Like that. Maximum occupancy is going to be um, 10. So I've set it here. Normally you would do this when you initialize your screen. And let's see if it works. Let's go to the emulator and I'm clicking on the plus button but uh, I'm not going up any higher. This works just fine as far as I'm concerned. But what if this were being used in a real situation where there's a lot of noise um, and who knows you may not be able to see it. You might want to add a sound every time that uh, someone clicked on the plus button or you may want to notify people that uh, you re reach the maximum occupancy. Now I'm going to do something slightly different because I have to worry about the person who uh, is sharing my office. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color of the add guest button and you'll see how a certain problem will develop. So what I can do is I can say hmm if I try to click when uh, add guest is greater than maximum occupancy, um, I can set the button to be red. Now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the if else control and I'm going to tell the tell the code that as long as it's less than the maximum occupancy to increase the uh, T count, but if it's less, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say make the guest background color red. Some of you can see where the problem is going to occur. So I'm going to, this should be saved. Here's my counter at 10 and I click the plus button and it turns red. Cool. Telling me that I'm over the limit and if I press the plus button again it won't go up. But what happens if I hit the minus button? 
that is the subtract guess. Well, subtract guess will uh, subtract the number, but you'll notice the this stays, that is the add button, add guess button, stays red. And that's because there's nothing in the code for the subtract guess button which does anything about the background color of the emulator. So what it would mean is that in the subtract guest block, I would need to change the color back. And you'll see how this is going to be sort of redundant and some extra, it seems to be redundant and some extra code, but what happens is as long as you subtract the guest, the background color will be white. And the reason this will work is because the you will never be able to go above 10. So as soon as you get to 10 and subtract a guest, the background color will be, will be white. But every time you subtract the guest, the color is reset to white, even if it is white. Let's go see this in action. So here we are. I hit the subtract button and the add button goes to white. If I add up to 10, nothing happens. As soon as I try to add to 10, the background for the add guest button turns re red. As soon as I, a guest leaves and I press the subtract guest button, subtract guest says the total count is greater than zero. Okay, I'm going to subtract the increment from the total count. I'm going to put the new total count, t count, into the guest count dot text that's going to be over here. And then I change the guest background color to white. And so this logic, as minimal as a minimal change as it is, will handle that. If you want, you could also um, add a sound. I happen to have one that I set up uh, to annoy or at least alert the bouncer that they've reached the limit. The sound is in my blocks. There's the sound that I had on the screen in the component designer. And I had assigned a sound to it. So what's going to happen here, when I add a guest and the, the total count, the T count, is less than the maximum occupancy, the values of T count will change. As soon as this is no longer true and I click the Add Guest button, the background will change to red and a sound will play. Let's see this in action. Okay, so here in our app, we have a count of six. We add more people, and we're not notified because we're not only, the sound will only play when we click the Add Guest button, and we have, and this is false, that is to say that the T count is equal to or greater than the maximum occupancy. If I click the plus button now, what will happen is T count is not less than the maximum occupancy. This is false. Therefore, it will do this. It will change the color and play the sound. If I click on the sub guest button, what will happen is just what happened before. The problem here is that we would rather know, at least I think I would rather know, when the maximum occupancy had been reached. 
The way we can do that is to use the old if statement here for changing the count, then after that check to see if we are at the maximum count. And if we are, then change the color and play the sound. Here's what it would look like. I'm going to take this, copy it, paste it, and do the following. Take a the if control, hit here, and another if control here. I think I'm doing a bit, a bit too much work. Here you go. Uh huh. So, let's look at this. If the if you click the guest button, the add guest button, and the T count is less than the maximum occupancy, you'll increment the count, just like was before. After you do that, you check to see is the T count greater than or equal to the maximum occupancy. If it is, turn the color red, the background red, play the sound. Give it a shot. See if it works. So, call. Looks like my work is done. Hope you found this useful. Leave me any comments. Thanks. Bye.